world this is what's up 290 and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to encrypt contents of your email in pretty much any e popular email service such as gmail outlook yahoo mail i believe it works with aol i'm not sure though and and basically what this will do is it will automate is it is you can use it to encrypt the contents of your email so that the contents of your email can't be saved or logged by any by any email service provider or and or anyone who also has access to that email account so what you're going so how we're going to do this is be a browser extension called mailvelope mailvelope is a is a web browser extension that they have for both there's they have it for both google chrome and also mozilla firefox and i'll have the link to both the chrome and firefox version in the description below so once you've gone and installed the browser extension you do have to be using the um obviously because it's a browser extension you do have to be using the webmail the webmail version of uh, whatever emails of whatever email service unfortunately you can't go to your computer's mail application and or your uh, iphone's mail application and, and do this because it's a browser extension so you have to be using the uh, the webmail version of gmail or whatever email service you use so once you've uh, once you have that, once you once you've gone to the webmail of your email service, all you have to do is just open a new email, and I'm just gonna set the subject to test. Set the set the subject to test, and then first we need to set up a password that will unencrypt the email. So just click on the mail envelope icon in your browser. So for me. It's it's so in these because I already have a set, have a um, password set, but it'll show you like it for you. It should come up with an option saying like generate keyring or something like that, and just click that. If you go, I'm just gonna go keyring, and then just click generate key. Type it'll and this will bring up this screen to generate generate the key that it will be used to decrypt the, your email. Click. Where you go to name, type in your name. Where you go to email address, type in the email address you'll be sending encrypted emails from. And then here is your password. This is the this is the password that you will use to that it will be used to encrypt slash decrypt your emails. So what you're going to want to do is just enter the password you want here. If I already have a password set for this test video so I'm not gonna set a password but what you want to do is just click ent where it says enter password type the password you want to set here re-enter re password type in the password you want to set again there and then you can choose to either upload the public key to Mailvelope server and it'll be sh server which you know serves as extra backup if you want to if you don't want it to get lost or you can choose to not save it if you click options and click security there's some options here for you to check out i recommend checking out all the options here and then if you click list of email providers these are all the email email domains email providers that it currently supports by default however if yours is not here you can just go add it you can just go you can just click on add new entry and then add in the domain name of the uh, email service that you're going to be using. So as you see, it supports, you know, Zoho, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, it supports Outlook Mail, Microsoft Email, which is a Microsoft's email service, and all these names that are here. So now let's send, go ahead and send an email. So once you've got an email, your email you want to encrypt open and your email is typed, this icon here will appear. Click on this icon and uh, add a recipient in here. I'm just going to send it myself. If you click encrypt files, then basically what that will do is you can it'll bring up this screen and you can add a file that will be encrypted by the PGP encryption. Add an email attachment. 
I mean, I should say, that will be encrypted by the uh, PGP encryption. So once you've got everything set up, you just want to click Encrypt. And as you can see, it just the word test has been completely turned into this garbled mess here. And I'm going to send this email. I'm just, again, I'm just sending it to myself. Open it. And then, to see it, see the received email just include, includes gobbledygook. So what the person that you're, that you're sending this email to has to do is it automatically entered it because I've typed it in, because I've typed it in already. But what the, uh, the person that receives the email will have to basically go and uh, type in the password that you set on the email, on the email. Via, the, via how we just did it. So that's about it for this video. Leave a question if you have any. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.